हे गाईज दिस इज दर्शन लोखंडे आय एम अ प्री फायनल इयर बी टेक सी स्टुडंट ॲट ट्रिपल आय टी पुणे वेलकम टू अवर चॅनल लर्न कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह प्रोग्रामिंग विथ कोडशेअर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कॉम्पिटेटिव्ह प्रोग्रामिंग अँड वॉन्ट टू लर्न डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स अँड अल्गोरिदम्स दिस इज द वन स्टॉप डेस्टिनेशन फॉर यू वी पोस्ट वीकली प्रॉब्लेम एक्सप्लेनेशन अँड कॉन्सेप्ट व्हिडिओज सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू सबस्क्राईब टू अवर चॅनल बाय हिटिंग दॅट सबस्क्राईब बटन अँड ऑल्सो द बेल आयकन The problem that we are going to discuss today is thief and police. The problem appeared in April 21 starters which is for division 3 and has a difficulty level of simple. There are no prerequisites to solve this problem. The problem statement goes as follows. We are given a n cross m grid and there are two people present in this grid that is one is the thief and one is the policeman. So it is given in the question that initially the thief is present at the cell x comma y while the policeman is present in the cell a comma b so let's mark these two cells on our grid so we will be using yellow color for the thief so let's say the thief is present over here so this is the cell x comma y and the police is present over here somewhere and let's say this is known as a comma b so these are the initial coordinates of the two people now the question further mentions the type of movements both of them can do so it is given that the thief if starting from a particular cell or in a particular cell he is present currently then either he can go down by one cell or to the right so these are the only two movements allowed for the thief whereas the policeman can go either to the right or down or he can also go diagonally so either right down or right plus down so these are the three types of movement available for police and it is also given in the question that the thief cannot stop that is once he starts from a starting position at each point of time he has to make some move that is either go right or either go down so the main target of both of them is to reach this cell n comma m that is the corner cell i have marked it in the green over here you can see it so wherever they start their both of them target is to go to this corner cell why because as as soon as thief reaches this cell he is going to escape the cell now the question is given that whether the policeman will be able to catch the thief or not that is it is given that the policeman catches the thief if he is in the same cell as the thief at any point of time that is if while traveling at any point of time if the police is present before the thief in that cell then the thief is caught in that case we have to answer no that is the thief cannot escape so the policeman shall catch him and we have to print yes if the thief is successfully able to escape so this is the question and now let's see how to approach the solution so the approach towards the solution is going to be as follows first we know that the thief starts at the coordinate x comma y and has to go to the coordinate n comma m also uh, he is going to make continuous moves that is he is not going to waste any time and at each step he will either go right or down so a possible path for the thief in this case can be something like this or he can go like this or all the way to the right and then down anyway so in any case you can observe that the because the moves are only of the type right and down the thief has to make fixed number of moves which we can find uh, to go from the initial starting point to the target point that is uh, he has to cover n minus x number of moves that will be of the type down and m minus y number of moves that will be of the type right so i'll just write it down over here n minus x and m minus y so these many moves he has to do down and these many moves right so any combination of these many downs and these many rights will lead the thief from his initial uh, source to the target location so we don't have to care what his actual path is we just care that how many moves he needs to go from the source to the target because that is the least amount of time needed for the thief to go from the source to target similarly 
we have to calculate the time for the police as well because the police will try and catch the thief at the target position itself as it is quite intuitive that if the police cannot catch the thief at the corner cell then he cannot catch him anywhere else because the thief is smart as well so if they you know plan their moves then the police should be able to catch the thief at the corner cell if not here then the thief wins that is he escapes so our approach is going to be that we will find the time required for both of them that is the thief and the police the least time required for both of them to reach the corner cell and then we'll just compare that time and based on that we will give the answer so for thief we already know that the time is just n minus x plus m minus y because this is the number of moves the thief is going to make similarly the police on the other hand has three types of moves that is he can either go right or he can go down or he can go right plus down that is in a diagonal manner so what we do is that we first calculate that in total how many right and down moves does the police have to make so like the thief similarly the police also has to make let's say n minus a down moves and m minus b right moves but uh, say for a particular case like in this case the police has to make a total of 1 2 so two down moves and 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 right moves so in that case what the police can do is that uh, to reach the target faster he can use these type of moves that is right plus down and how to do that he will combine the minimum number from these both that is instead of making 2 uh, and 6 moves separately what he'll do is that he'll make two moves of the type right plus down that is he'll go like this okay that is in diagonal fashion and then he'll complete the remaining moves so that is a faster way right so he'll combine the down moves and the right moves to you know save some time and reach faster to the target position so now let's summarize uh, the times for both of them the thief takes n minus x plus m minus y time to reach the target cell whereas the police takes n minus a plus m minus b minus minimum of those both because he can also make the moves of the type right plus down so these are the times taken by the thief and police respectively now we just have to check who reaches first at the target cell if the thief reaches before or at the same time as police then the answer is yes because the thief can escape or else the answer is no now let's quickly see the c++ implementation of the same so the implementation is pretty simple for each test case we take the input that is n comma m x comma y and a comma b and once we have the input we just have to calculate the time required for both of them to reach the target that is the corner cell so the time taken by thief is nothing but n minus x plus m minus y as discussed in the solution it will be fixed always whereas for police it is n minus a plus m minus b but we subtract minimum of n minus a comma m minus b because the police can make the moves of the type right plus down as well and then we just compare that if the thief uh, reaches before or at the same time as police as it was given in the question then the answer is yes that is the police or oh sorry the thief can escape or else the answer is no that is the thief cannot escape so that completes the implementation also i would like to tell you guys about the cp tutorials that we have at uh, code chef so if you are starting with programming and are facing difficulty you can have a look at all these free courses that we have you can find them over here on the website so these are taken by our educators and they are covering all possible topics in competitive programming but if you want even more structured content on an academy you can opt for our plus subscription and use my referral code darshankul25 to avail instant 10% discount while subscribing